the artistic girls one two three four here today we are going to show you how to neatly do paint your tongue this was recommended to us by just a channel 1970 so thank her if this will help you or him so, or him so what you want first want to do is you want to take a q-tip or a cotton ball and get all the extra nail polish off your toes i think it's easy to do that i just poured if you're going to use a Q-tip, I pour it into the cap, but it will be done with that. Um, so today I will be using purple and silver, well, sparkly. Um, and I will be using a filing brush Just and a toe spider. You probably won't need the filing, yeah. but if you have to file your nails, then you should use this. But right okay. now, see what I So I am going to be putting the toe spreader in, and my toes aren't that big. It's kind of hard. Sorry for this random arm, it's just my arm. It's a hoe. Mm. Spread your toes. It can't hoe. Huh. Okay, so it looks like that. That looks kind of freaky ish. But freaky. So, what you want to do first? Make sure she did polish really good. So that all the colors in the strand. And you don't want it to be like drippy, so you want to wipe it off pretty good. And this, you have to put a couple points. You start in the middle. Hopefully, you can see this. It's kind of hard. And you want to go up like that. Don't go down or sideways. And then you work your way out until you reach the end. If you have, like, at the end, if you want to end the end, you have this special skinny brush that comes in a special bottle. And I think you can buy it at CVS. It's like just a skinny bottle. You should start. Here's my big toe. You can see that. Okay, you can start it. Um, and you just want to pretty much do the, that with the little toe. Sorry for the background noise if you can hear it. And as you can see, I did my nails. So when you do the same method you do with toes for nails. Oh, if you have tiny nails, you need to just paint on the same one. The brush, but. Oh, and if you do have a little leftover nail polish, it, um, you can leave it on there depending on what color nail polish you're using. If on nails, if you're doing a French manicure, then you need to clean off all of the nail polish. But if you're just doing a dark color, then you're fine. So if you, like, at the end, after you're done doing all of them, you take the Q-tip again with the nail polish remover and you go around the nails, getting all the extra nail polish off around on your skin. But so it looks nice. this tutorial might help you with without getting all that nail polish around your ears. So there's one foot. You're gonna have to do a few coats if you have the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. So Cause it's kind of I'm just gonna go ahead and do another coat. And again, starting from the middle and going out. You might accidentally get some on your skin if um you don't be careful. But this way, it's easier. Some people go towards themselves. You can get a lot of nail polish on yourself if you do that. But it's hard to do your toes because you're like bending down over them. So if you could do this, that's great. I'm just doing this in the bathroom. Yeah. So you need two or three coats. Enough. We're just doing three right now. So they don't need to let but you don't need to let them dry, you can just go back over them and then just sorry. Are you gonna use that all thing? Mm, no. And you need to have parent permission doing your nails. 
And if you're old enough, like me and my sister, then you don't need parent permission. Yay! Okay, you're finished with your hair curl. We're just gonna let that dry for about two minutes. Or one minute, depending on what kind of nail polish you have. And then make this sparkly clear, so if you get a regular fine. clear, yeah, it's fine. fine too. We just don't have clear right now. This is New York City color, New York color. Long wearing nail enamel, and this has sparkles in it, but you would use your new, just clear without anything Or, we have other sparkling options. The same one, and then, I forget what the other one is. Whatever. Um, so you just want to go get a strap or set, like, shake up and down your hair. Touch them, see if they're done. Or sit in the sun. If it's in the summer, okay, that was not done. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Don't touch them too heavy like my sister did. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm almost dried. <clears throat> Just want to do the same thing with the cake coat. Don't hit me in the face. Okay, so I think they're done. And you just want to pretty much do the same thing that you did with the purple. Purple or your base coat. Ow. <laughs> If you like a lot of sparkle, let it drip, but if you just want just this be clear and not a lot of sparkle, just wipe it off on the side of the ring and, and repeat. Start from the middle and go out. You only have to do one coat unless you like there's a sparkle. But once I did that and then it, it like never came off. off. It'll forever come off. Yeah. My friend's mom, she painted her toenails blue. With sparkles on them, and she couldn't get the blue dye out of her toes. So, who was that? Yeah. Sometimes, if like you put too much on, it's hard to get off, and it could stain your toenails. Unless you use very good nail polish remover. So, if you have any extra nail polish, like there on your toe or like on the top. And you don't want to take the dividers out until they're fully dry. <clears throat> so that was our tutorial. So just a channel, 1970. I hope this helped you. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And please give us some more um, video requests. Thank you. Bye.